In the name of Allah, the merciful, we will start with domain P, IBC key measures. Element P6, Respiratory Protection Program. The total number of elements is 12, and activities for auditing are document, and review, and observation, and the score will be 0, 1, 2. P6.1, there is a written policy and procedure for RPP with the well-designed programs, component and activity, and based on current scientific knowledge, approved MOH guidelines, reference practice and regulation, and is evaluated by documents. Review policy and procedure of RPP, which should be comprehensive, each healthcare facility should establish comprehensive internal policy and procedure to manage RPP effectively. Following must be incorporated in the policy and procedure. Key elements of RPP with the relevant sub-elements. Steps required in the implementation of an effective respiratory protection program. Policy and procedure must include detailed program activity for each program component in order to ensure effective implementation. Other domains of the policy and procedures fully applicable. All elements of the policy can be applied and comply with the hospital scope of service based on scientific reference approved by MOH. Sign from authorized person, example, owner of the policy hospital director or medical director, consent department, approved by IC committee, valid update based on the latest guidelines released from MOH. P6.2, there is a written policy and procedure for dealing with suspect or confirmed respiratory illness patient. Based on the update national guidelines, it's contained early detection, management and the transfer of the respiratory illness patient and is evaluated by documents. Review policies and procedure for dealing with suspected or confirmed respiratory illness patient should be Number one, comprehensive in cooperating following important domains or protocols for early detection of patient with respiratory illness, example respiratory triage, respiratory pathway, early recognition, and source control patient with acute infection respiratory illness. Management of protocols of patient with respiratory illness, case definition of suspected and confirmed case of respiratory illness, description of respiratory pathway, designated respiratory triage area with the clear flow chart. Transmission based precaution, patient placement, personal protective equipments for healthcare workers, environmental cleaning, disinfection, and handling waste and linen, infection control precaution for a resort generating procedure. Management of exposure to respiratory illness, healthcare workers, and patient exposure, management of respiratory illness outbreaks. A duration of isolation precaution for a specific respiratory illness, home isolation instruction for eligible patients, laboratory diagnosis, general outlines of management, managing bodies of deceased patients with respiratory illness, patient transportation protocols, patient transportation, and pre hospital emergency medical service. Others domains of policies and procedures, policies and procedure for dealing with suspected or confirmed respiratory illness patients should be fully applicable. All elements of policy can be applied and comply with the hospital scope of service based on scientific reference approved by MOH, 
sign from authorized person, example, owner of the policy, hospital director or medical director, concern department, approved by IC committee, valid update based on latest guidelines released from MOH. B6.3, the IBC committee regularly discussed RPP program's activity progress and any issues with potential to impede the effective implementation of the program and is evaluated by document and in review. Review the meeting minutes of the last IBC committee meeting to check the content issues discussed in the last meeting and check the status. Check if the respiratory protection program activities and the progress are being discussed as a part of routine agenda. Example, in 95 fit test coverage, staff immunization status, training and education on staff on RPP. Discussed and approval of any new update related to policy and the procedure of RPP related to engineering control. Discussion and reinforcement of program followed during IBC committee meeting to ensure the continuity of the program. Verify if any major issue was discussed in the previous meeting, what were the suggested solution and what is the current status. Example, an availability of the vaccine or specific size of N95 mask or paper in ER. In review, ask IBC staff about discussion of respiratory protection program in the committee meeting. Ask how agenda is prepared and who is responsible to follow up and resolve open issues related to RPP. Ask about the tracing mechanism to follow up the respiratory protection program activities and progress. During the audits round in the clinical areas randomly, ask the IBC committee's representative about the RPP and assess their awareness. Example, ER or ICU's head can be interviewed to assess their awareness and orientation about RPP activities. Ask about percentage of N95 test coverage of their staff education and the training of staff in RPP. P6.4, there is a designated respiratory triage facing the entrance of the emergency and the hemodialysis unit of the hospital. Example, first area to be reached by any patients and is evaluated by observation. P6.5, little reminder in the emergency department for update definition of respiratory illness of national alert are available and based on update national guidelines and the staff are quite familiar with these definitions and is evaluated by observation and interview. Interview ER and hemodialysis unit physicians and other relevant stuff regarding update case definition of respiratory illness. And ask about the last orientation training about the latest case definition of respiratory illness. B6.6 A flow chart is available in emergency and hemodialysis unit for early detection and management of respiratory illness patient and is evaluated by document and in review. Review flowchart for respiratory illness patient based on update MOH guidelines. A flowchart should be clearly describe the respiratory pathway from an essential checkpoint at ER, the hemodialysis unit entrance to the final destination. In review, IBC team about how they develop the flowchart. Ask about the latest version of MOH guidelines for respiratory illness to verify if update version are available. Ask staff in ER about the flowchart and match if consistent with the real hospital situation. 
هي موديل سيز يونت ماست هاف دير اون فلو تشارت ديسكرايب يقدر سبيراتري باث وي فور سسبكتد هي موديل سيز بيشنت بي 6.7 بيشنت هو هاف اكيوت انفكشن ريسبيراتري سيمتوم ار انستركتد تو وير سيرجيكال ماسك and placed in detected and separate waiting area within at least 1.2 meter distance between them and is evaluated by observation and interview. Observe how the respiratory triage nurse is dealing with the patient with the acute respiratory symptom. Observe if alcohol-based hand sanitizer, surgical masks are available at the respiratory triage disc or not. Observe how she is directing the patient to the dedicated respiratory waiting area. Interview staff at the visual triage station about the instruction to be given to the patient with symptom of respiratory illness and their companions. Ask staff what will be the next patient destination if the score is 4 and above. And how she will manage the situation if she faces two or more patients at the same time. B6.8 The facility conducts a tracing for all healthcare workers who have been exposed to confirmed respiratory illness, example TB, cases as per the latest national guidelines and is evaluated by document and interview. Review log with the line list of all contact exposed to confirm respiratory illness cases with a record of sign and symptom of a duration of 14 days. And review staff about the post-exposure management and follow-up to a confirmed respiratory illness cases. Ask her if she has low risk and protected exposure for how long she he should be under observation and how the monitoring will be done. B6.9 There is an implemented system for reporting and follow-up and management of exposure to OBIN-TB, MERS-CoV, chickenpox, MMR and is evaluated by document and interview. Review the following documents, last two. Or three, list of healthcare worker who had exposed to respiratory illness. With classification into low or high risk, protect or non-protect exposure. Isolation room slots that recorded healthcare worker who had exposed to the respiratory illness disease. Evidence of reporting exposure to GDIBC when indicated. Annual report of Imbilwi Health Clinic that include exposure incident to respiratory illness disease. Ask IBC team members, assign staff of the Imbilwi Health, how can you probably apply post exposure reporting, follow up, and management plan of respiratory illness disease. Instead of direct questions and direct ones or scenarios are advisable. B6.10 A result generating procedure, example nasopharyngeal swab, tracheal aspirate of suspected infectious respiratory patient are performed by trained healthcare workers and there must be scheduled for assigned trained healthcare workers to cover all shifts and is evaluated by documents, medical records, and interview. Review list of healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, who have received the training on appropriate techniques of nasopharyngeal swabs and tracheal aspirate, which are aerosol generating procedures. Check of scheduled for duty covering 24 hours for the trained assigned healthcare workers for EGBs. Example, nasopharyngeal swabs, tracheal aspirate. In review, concern staff, doctors, nurses, in ER ICUs about the last training received on various EGBs. 
randomly ask staff to explain technique of nasopharyngeal sample collection for MERS-CoV COVID-19 testing. P6.11 Healthcare workers must perform EGPs on any suspected or confirmed respiratory illness cases in negative pressure room or single room with portable HEPA filter machines if the negative pressure room is not available and by using proper PPE and is evaluated by documents, observation, and review. Review file of any patient of suspected or confirmed respiratory illness cases and check the date, time, and responsible healthcare worker who perform AGBs. Review the log sheet for the specific isolation cases and match with the date and time of EGBs. Ask for evidence of appropriate PPE using during EGBs. Observe healthcare worker performing any EGBs like CPR, intubation, extubation, suction for any suspected or confirmed respiratory illness. In review, ask healthcare workers, doctors, nurses at random about what is the mean by the term EGPs and if they can enumerate difference. Ask healthcare workers about the type of a precaution to be taken and BBE to be worn while perform EGPs. Ask healthcare workers where EGP is to be performed for any suspected or confirmed respiratory illness patients. B6.12 There is a proper maintenance of all portable HIPAA filter machines and all HIPAA filters are changed on a regular basis and according to the manufacturer recommendation and is evaluated by documents. Review document showing total number of portable HEPA filters machine available in the hospital, example ER, ICUs, HDU, OR. Check the records of the last HEPA filter change for each portable machine and verify if the manufacturer instruction for frequency are being followed. Documents can be reviewed in IBC and in relevant departments as well by random selection. Example ER, HDU, isolation words. Thank you for listening.